All right, folks, we have some mystery boxes. These boxes are from Fairfield. We're going to open them up and see what's inside. Okay, so these boxes are mystery boxes, and the company that makes them is Fairfield. We'll turn around to the other side. They're two different boxes. Got them both at the same location. They, uh, just wanted to see what was in them. Uh, I've heard some things about the Fairfield company that aren't 100% good, so we're going to find out on our own and see what we get in these boxes. Now, one of them claims to have $20 original retail value, the other one makes no such claim. So we're going to look and see what this one says on the back. It says, this package is guaranteed to contain six or more collectible items and over $20 in retail value. This product, the products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from the secondary market and repackaged for retail sales by the Fairfield Company. Uh, this one says something similar except for the $20 in value thing. So it's the same thing. Uh, it just says guaranteed to collect five or contain five or more collectibles. So we're going to do the one that makes no claim first, the pink mystery box. And we're going to find out. Now, the camera may or may not be stable today. The way I have to do this is a little bit weird. <laughs> but uh, we're going to try it. I uh, figured this was a little bit better angle than some of the other angles I've used for this kind of thing before. So we're going to try this angle and hopefully it works. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this one. Ooh, they're tough to open. This one is pretty light. It makes a little bit of noise. This one feels like there's something bigger in there. So we're going to, like I said, go with the pink one first see what we got there we go and I don't know it's probably just trinkets probably nothing that has any value if it does I'll put it up on the screen oh, it is very hard to get into though I was hoping to save the box they use hot glue holy lord maybe that's so you can't open it in the store and peek <laughs> oh god all right we're gonna we're going to perform some surgery on this box. Uh, comical. Very comical. All right. I haven't seen, obviously, what's inside of these. And if you don't believe that, then... If you believe, don't believe it, then uh, whatever. So, first of all, I see a bag in there. I'm going to pull that out. This is My Hero Academia. It is a figural key ring, Series 3. I have no idea what that is. You can collect them all. This is the one that didn't make a claim, so we're good there. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy. We're just gonna we're gonna skip to the chase here. Much oop, I, st I still missed. Well I might cut it if I do that, so there we go. And they don't want even watch a feel on what it is, so they put a, a piece of cardboard around it. And we got this girl. I don't know who she is. Uh, I'm not familiar with My Hero Academia. I have sold some of this kind of stuff before on eBay. This one looks to be... Jisuyi... Asaya. That girl right there. So, I don't think that keychain is worth very much, but we'll, we'll check her out. And she doesn't stand up. She's just a... Yeah. We'll leave her laying down. Alright, so there is a Pokemon card in here that is all bent. Uh, definitely not gradable. It is Surfetched. Galarian Surfetched. I don't know what set that's from. It is number... Let's see. My eyes aren't very good, so you guys could maybe see that number. Uh, there you go. So that was the second thing in that box. But as you can see, it's pretty rough. Looks like it's got a ripple in it over... Where was that? I saw one. You know, that might be able to be flattened out. But I'm not a real big Pokemon guy. I do open some cards. Don't know what they are. I just have fun with it. But that is a hollow, so that's cool. But they just put the card in there loose, which is weird. So that's two. There's supposed to be five in here, I think it said. Contains five or more. Yep. So this one... Yummy World, Yummy Licious Vinyl Keychain Series. This one has a little tear. The last one probably did too, so that you can open it easily. Alright, again, they wrap them in cardboard so you can't see what's in there, or you can't feel what's in there from the outside. 
That's, I'm assuming not for the mystery packs here, but for regular retail sale. Let's uh, get it out of there. Oh, it's a little ice cream sandwich. Interesting. What is? This? Oh, that's just tape. Okay. So let's see if there's a picture of that guy and if he's got a name. Ice cream sandwich is just number two out of thirty-six. So yeah, not a whole lot of value in this yet, but pretty cool. I mean, these only cost five ninety-nine, so it's not like uh, I broke the bank on them. So that's one, two, three. This is four, and there is a fifth one in there. So. And I don't even think I need to open this. I'm not sure why they put dice in here and what these dice go to. But they put seven dice. Six of them red, one of them blue. Uh, we're just going to leave that right in the package. No idea. This one goes up to 130. That one's 50, 70 minutes. I'm sure there's a particular game these go to. Somebody can leave down in the comments below what it is. And finally, a pin. So that one, yeah, I guess you could say you got your six dollars. I don't even know what the hell that is. It looks like a Pokemon thing, I think. I don't know. Is that is that Pokemon thing? That could be a Pokemon thing. Let's see if it says anything on the back. Yeah, I can't read any of that. But anyway, that's the pin. We'll look some of this stuff up. I'll I'll magnify it and try to figure it out, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't much value in this particular box. But that's okay, it made no claim as to value. So we're going to put these, and we'll just leave them out, so you can see what was in there. We'll move these ones over, and we'll start on the next one. Now we know how to open these things, so it won't be so bad. i put all the garbage in there. I like mystery boxes, they're, they're fun. It's kind of like opening a pack of cards. Uh, you know, you don't know what's going to be in there. You have an idea, but you don't know. I don't have any idea on this stuff. Uh, so we're going to try this a different way. Since we knew that we couldn't get the last one open. This one's still difficult. There we go. Got it. Ooh, I see something MLB in here, so that's good. All right. Over $20 value. Let's find out. Mad Lids contains two mini caps and two displays. Uh, it's showing Chicago Cubs and A's, but I think it's probably a mystery pack. Oh, if you have, if you find a glow-in-the-dark lid and other rare caps, maybe it's better. Let me go ahead and uh, check this one on eBay real quick before I open it, because we're going to keep a total. You know, give me a second. Probably zero dollars and zero cents on eBay, but we'll find out. One second. So I got my handy dandy little barcode scanner and we're gonna scan that thing. If I can. They're hard to scan when these they're in these little packages like that. There we go. So just one by itself, we're going to sold items. Uh six of them go for $12.99. So there is not probably $20 value there, unless the individual caps are worth something. So we're gonna open this one. Uh, this one has no such tear that I can see, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna cut it. All right, who do we got? Who do we got? We've got one was in a bag and one wasn't. That's weird. So this is looks like Texas Rangers and White Sox. Uh, you must have to stick your own stickers on. You get, oh, there's your Chicago White Sox Texas Rangers, yeah. So you got to stick your own stickers on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are worthless. So we're at, we'll say one dollar, two dollars. We'll say two dollars, dollar each on these. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't, yeah, it can be both. There we go. I'm not going to stick them right now, because that would be a long video if I did things like that. But uh, we'll, we'll put them in the stands. They are kind of cool. If you could collect them all, that would be neat. I don't even think we're going to get $20 between the two boxes, but we'll see. Maybe we will. There we go. Alright, next item. Ryan's World Collector Bands. So far, we're not doing so good. Uh, now, I know Ryan's World stuff does have some value, but uh, we're going to check this one. 
and see what this one says. Probably not very well, not very good. A uh, whole case of them, 12 package goes for $22, so 22 divided by 12. equals. So we'll say about $2. So we're up to about $4. I'm not going to open these up. They are just little, I don't know, I guess they're wristbands, collector bands. I don't know what you do with them. Uh, I'm not going to open that one up, but you can see what those are. Not that great. Come on, get out of All right. We're going to get this guy out of the camera. All right, next item. So it said six, so we're at two now. This one's cool. Another set of collective bands. <laughs> okay. So now we're up to four, five, six, eight, two, four, no, six dollars in value, not 20. I don't know what the original retail on these were, but uh, another little mystery pack in here. Uh, these are Teeny Mates NHL. Teeny Mates. Uh, again, another mystery pack, NHL little deal here. It's like just stuff they sell up at the registers. Uh, get the kids to get their parents to buy. Uh, I know there's mystery packs and this stuff, LOL surprise and all that stuff are pretty good, hot, you know, hot products, but they may, they overdid it. So we're going to see what these ones are. Oh, you got a little guy, little hockey guys. It's just, there's a puzzle in there. Two puzzle pieces and two hockey guys. Two puzzle pieces and two hockey guys. Always one comes in a bag and one doesn't. That's interesting. And there's your list of guys, I guess, that you can get. Let's try to identify at least one of these guys. There he is right there. That looks like... Nope, that's not him. That's him. Hurricanes, Carolina Hurricanes, there we go. And then two puzzle pieces. We'll scan that, but I'm sure it's going to be about the same range as everything else. Uh, no sold items, so we'll go to what the asking prices are. And uh, a couple bucks. So we're at 246, I think. We'll put those guys over there in that pile. Yeah, this is. This is a crappy mystery box. All right, it sounds like we got another one of those. Oh, different one, another ball cap one. Uh, this one, we'll see who they contain. They're cool, and I might put them up on a shelf, but there's definitely not $20 so far. The, the, the one next two, I think, I think we got one. I don't remember, we're at one, two, three, Four. I think we're on the fourth one for this. You got nice little sparkly stands with this one. That's kind of nice. Maybe there's something special in here. Just as a retail pack, though, it's about $2. I'll put that aside and we'll see what we got. We've got Buffalo Bills. Oh, these ones, they can be, uh, these are NFL. So the first ones were Major League Baseball. These ones are NFL. And we've got, it looks like one of those glow-in-the-dark ones, maybe? I can't tell. I don't think so. No, this is just a regular Seattle Seahawks, I guess. We didn't get any special ones, so we're going to call it two bucks. All right. Well, there's only one more item in here. <laughs> uh, this is it. Just this guy. Uh... I don't know who he is, but I'm going to guarantee that's not $20 worth of items. So that's what we got from the two mystery boxes. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, was it worth it? Yeah, there were six bucks. There's more than $6 worth of value, probably retail in there. Uh, and maybe original retail was a little higher on these, probably 4 or $5 for this stuff. So yes, $20 retail value. No, not $20 resale value. So... But still, fun to do, and if I find them again, maybe I'll do another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Sweetwater out.